I made modifications to the sky controller. Um, Why? Well, I don't want to be two kilometers away for one to fly. I only want to fly about 500 meters. Yeah, <coughs> now, I'm good. Now, um, that is the first thing. The second thing is the weight. The weight of this thing was, I don't know, must be near on the kilo, right? This is half the weight now, okay? Very rude, Trent. Very rude. <laughs> okay, now, um, what I did was, I opened it up and actually looked at what the antennas were and what they were connected to. And when I found out that the antennas coming off of here were five gigahertz, I decided, well, it's pointless to try and use that big hoofing antenna array thing if I'm using it at 2.4 gigahertz. So I, I cut the wire and I made a little, can you see that? I, I cut the wire and I made a little dipole antenna. And then I made a second little dipole antenna and they face in opposite directions to each other, yeah? Um, next up, if you look at the bit that you actually want to boost the range of, the first antenna is your 5.8 gigahertz antenna, which is on the motherboard and it's there. The second antenna is your 2.4 gigahertz and it's down there or it's reverse. But they're PCB antennas. So the antenna mod that everyone was talking about putting on a big 2.4 gigahertz booster onto here, 2.4 times 2 would be 4.8 gigahertz. It's not quite the 5 gigahertz you want. You would have seen improvements, but you would have seen a lot more improvements if you got a 5 gigahertz antenna booster and used that instead. Okay, so knowing that, there's not much point in having a uh, massive antenna because the antennas that it actually uses are just PCB board antennas yeah so I gave it a 12 dBi antenna for the um, 2.4 gigahertz and I gave it a standard stock whip antenna which is probably 3 dBi for the 5.8 gigahertz <laughs> I've labelled them separately, so I know this is 5 gigahertz and I know this is 2.4 and these for 2 5 gigahertz are there permanently. Um, now, you won't be able to see it, I'm just going to start this thing recording. Um, start now, 2, 1, okay, so we've got a little record going on here and we're, we're going to try and get our maiden on our bebop. Now, um, I'm just going to nip into the settings and show a couple of bits, right? Uh, this will hopefully show up on the video and not the screen as I look at it now. Three seconds to return to home, maximum distance. We're going to set that to 100 meters. Geofencing, yes. Video, we want high quality 1080p, bringing frames a second, roll stabilization, yes, bringing auto. Um, then let's go back to. No. Okay, that's recording. We are about to lift off. Right, I press the up button. Now, these are Chinese propellers that I got the other day. Um, no, actually, I got them this morning. So I don't know how they respond, and we're just going to let it do its thing, right? So. There we go. Oh, this is our maiden flight of the drone. Now, I'm just going to leave it there for a minute. Doesn't it seem like it's coming back? Yeah, but you've gone over 100 metres. Have I? Yeah, definitely. I'd have thought.
Hmm. Alright. Um, we're going to do the tether hang. I'm not doing nothing. Look at the controller one second. I'm not doing anything. Cool, that's fast, isn't it? I don't understand why it's not coming all the way back and it's lower though. Mm, we've got people on the field on the right. Okay, bringing them down, bringing them back. If we really look at the video feed and see which way we're looking. Well, it looked like it turned round. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Do the return it's, to home. Uh... Oh yeah, it's facing us. Okay, angle the camera down a bit. There's us on the sofa. Hello, mate. Right, bring it forward. Didn't he? Well, I don't like the fact that it turned around to return to home. It makes sense to me. Yeah, it does. It makes very good sense. Okay. Um, 58%. Down a bit. Bring it down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Gently come down. And then bring it forward towards us. That'll do. Come down. Come down. Come down. I'm not used to no zoom flying, you know. Um, oh yes, you can see us real good here. And uh, you know what else I don't like, crap? Looking down at the screen here and just trusting that thing up there that it's doing what it's told to do. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, my heart's in my mouth. Oh, gosh, I thank know you. it's got loads of clever tech on it and stuff, but I'm still... <sighs> yeah, I'm I swear I feel the nerves worse than you do. <laughs> I'm pooing. It, it's, the brick is coming out of bottom right now, I tell you, man. I also haven't got a clue if I've actually got this on the phone or not, because I can't actually see. That's okay, it can see you. Wave. Hello, I can see you too. Okay, forward slowly. Down, and down, and down. Look out for the people. Okay, turning it must be it around. time over, everybody's starting to come out. Then turn it around, look at the people over here. Lower. That is beautiful. Five, six year old tech. That is absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Track the people. I think you might have to say that sentence again because I think the train swallowed it. That's cool. That is that is actually beautiful. Look at it. I'm, I'm not doing nothing really. GPS locked the whole time. 34% battery. Okay, let's do a quick figure at eight. Mm. I'd say that was more the infinity loop than the uh, figure of eight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd agree with you. I don't think it was very round. No, it wasn't, was it? Yeah, it was a bit ropey. <laughs> I have to admit, it was a bit ropey. But I am banking and yanking. <laughs> right. I'm just going to go and walk over that way a bit and see if I can get you both in shot. Okay.
there's no hands. Is it the wind pushing it back like that? Yeah. Either that or its GPS is very good right. and it's it's wobbling a bit with the GPS but Okay. Yeah. Well there is a breeze and it is going that way, the way the quad's going back. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like I um put in an input, sit, relax, think about it for a minute. See I've never been able to do this before, you'd have freaked out. <laughs> it just come up a little bit. <laughs> I'll come towards you, right? Okay, now if you come face round so I can catch you from that angle there you go I can see you in the sun now Oh, All should right. I have a L'Oreal moment and let my hair down? <laughs> yeah, 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 do it, do it <laughs> Oh baby, you're so fine. <laughs> oh, oh. Now I'll probably look corruptness. Oops, where is it? By oh, the yeah. tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't look a mess at all. Uh, up overhead. And then turn it round so that it looks shit, but you can see good. Us both, because hey, I'm flying oh. this shit, man. Sorry, us both. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is this is what old people do, man. <laughs> the old geriatrics, right? Ten percent, come in and land. And how do you do that? Do you just do that with a button too. Well, if you want to, you can be lazy and just. Oh my lord! And this is old. Old technology just been slightly modified. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is some good shit. Frenchie, mon ami. Bong. <laughs>